Little Dinosaurs, written by Patty Schnetzler, illustrated by Jim Harris. Ten little dinosaurs bouncing on the bed. Pachycephalosaurus fell off and broke his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more boneheads bouncing on the bed. Nine little dinosaurs riding on a bike. Stegosaurus crashed and smashed his spike. The policeman yelled from atop his trike, no more nut brains riding on a bike. Eight little dinosaurs munching on a moof. Tyrannosaurus chomped and broke his tooth. The dentist shouted from the dentist booth, no more sharp tooths munching on a moof. Seven little dinosaurs rafting down a river. Spinosaurus flipped over and went all a quiver. The lifeguard said with a cold, wet shiver, no more silly sails rafting down the river. Six little dinosaurs jumping off a peak. Archaeopteryx dove and tweaked his beak. One called the ranger and the ranger shrieked, no more featherheads jumping off a peak. Five little dinosaurs playing in the street. Ankylosaurus yelled, a car to beat. He charged the street, squeal, screech, bleat, squeak. No more dino tanks playing in the street. Four little dinosaurs acting sort of cool. Supersaurus wore his shades to school. The teacher sighed, why that's against the rules. No more super lizards acting sort of cool. Three little dinosaurs on a camp out. Chasmosaurus asked, what's a lava tube about? He slid the tube, then blasted out the spout. No more frill seekers on a camp out. Two little dinosaurs watching baseball. Sauralophus yelled, hey, that's a bad call. The umpire didn't like that talk at all. No more big mouths watching baseball. One little dinosaur walking all alone. The sun burnt triceratops into dried up bones. Look, called the scientist, at all these fossil stones. No more three horns walking all alone. No more dinosaurs hanging on the brink. They all disappeared in a geologic wink. The doctor cried, well, this just stinks. Poor little dinosaurs all extinct. Ankylosaurus had stout bony plates all over its back. It was an armored tank, which made it very safe from attack. Archaeopteryx had wings and feathers, but probably was not a good flyer. It could do some flapping. However, its wings were weak, so Archaeopteryx used its wings to mainly soar and glide. Chasmosaurus had a huge frill that covered its neck and shoulders. The frill may have been used for display. The frill was far too fragile to provide any defense against meat eaters because it was only skin covering a bony frame. Pachycephalosaurus is a member of a family of dinosaurs known as bonehead. Boneheads had very thick skulls, about 10 inches thick or about as thick as a ruler is long. Their brains were very tiny. Sauralophus were duck-billed dinosaurs. They had nasal passages that amplified the sounds that they were able to make. Their loud honking was equally matched by their large mouths. Spinosaurus had a spine six feet high on its back. The spine was covered with skin. It looked as if Spinosaurus had a huge sail on his back. Stegosaurus had a tiny head, a long, heavy tail, and a beak. Its brain was once thought to be the size of a walnut. However, it is now known to be approximately the size of four or five walnuts. Supersaurus means super lizard. They were over 100 feet long. That's longer than three city buses end to end. They towered more than 50 feet high more than three times as tall as a giraffe. Their huge size may have protected them from meat-eating dinosaurs, such as Tyrannosaurus rex. 
Triceratops had three horns on its face, which made it capable of defending itself against large meat eaters such as Tyrannosaurus rex. Triceratops was one of the last dinosaurs that lived. Tyrannosaurus rex had a bone-crushing bite. Its razor-sharp teeth were six inches long. Sometimes, a Tyrannosaurus would bite so hard that its teeth would break off. <laughs>